Yeah, load that safe state. Boom. Are we good? There we go. Ah, there we go. Man. All right. So that's working. All right. Uh. So what I did find out, and I'm actually gonna bring the volume down on my end. There we go. Uh, so what I found out is that arranged mode is effectively a hard mode, but there's something you can do when you start playing the game to, like, double the amount of ammo you get. And I've heard mixed things that if you start the game, uh, or that if you do this, like, ammo doubling thing, uh, it also makes the enemies more difficult. But I've heard that that's also not the case, so I don't know. But I didn't do that, so we're just playing normal arranged mode and gonna get our asses kicked. I think I, how many times have I died? I think I died twice in this, both to the giant snake. Um, and we're coming up to another boss in this area because we're currently in the guest house. So currently in the guest house here. Uh, what's the status of everything. All right, I'm fine. I got a green herb. I got. The mixed herbs. Got some ink ribbons. Got some some ammunition for the gun, for the handgun, shotguns. You know, got a couple rounds there. I don't know what else I have in here. I think I know I have the grenade launcher. I definitely don't need the broken shotgun. Um, there's a crank. There's first aid spray. Oh, the cold python. Got some explosive rounds for the bazooka, which has one acid round left. Don't know what kind of. I don't know what kind of enemies we'll encounter. But I'm thinking. Might do some bazooka. Might do bazooka and explosive round. I'm leaving one slot open for <laughs> whatever happens. Okay, so. Hopefully I can find the map of this place. Because I don't want to do the big bad boss battle. Um. Oh, hello, Cena. Hello, Cena. How is your night going? I'm doing all right. I think there's a Zambo in here. Oh, there's multiple. Hobble your ass on over here so I can. There we go. That's a got him. Uh, I made a big portion of spaghetti uh, with mushroom sauce. Ooh, I do like a mushroom sauce with spaghetti. There's one I usually get that's like basil and mushroom. Super good. He did. Okay. Uh, nothing unusual. Well, like, go through it. What... Am I missing out on any, like, any cool wardrobe or anything like that? The desk is locked. Will you use the lockpick? You know I will. You've used the lock. Ooh, what do we have? Oh, we have shotgun ammo. Heck yes, I'll take that. Now my inventory is nothing but ammo. Good. <laughs> good, as it should be. Um, you had a very good day. I'm glad to hear that. I was like, I really shouldn't be taking a drink during a loading screen. Okay. The bathtub is filled with muddy water. Will you unplug it? Of course I will. Why not? Oh, because there could be many zombies, many creatures. 
okay. Oh, it's a ranged mode. It's a ranged mode, so typically there's something in here. Typically there'd be something in here. There is not. Nothing special. This room was totally pointless. Navigate my way around this. Um. See over here? Oh. Can I double up on herb? Or is it one? I think it's one herb per slot. Can't carry any more items. Nah, unfortunately, I can't. At least I know where the herbs are. Where them herbs be at. Um, just trying to make sure that I don't walk into the the big bad boss room. I know what's in this room. Uh, oh, there's a keypad next to it. Okay. I think that's where the big bad boss room is. Uh, whoop! Nope! Run away from the bees! Not the bees! Not the bees! Um, I think... This one... It's locked. The plate says 002. Yeah, no shit, I can see that. Alright, well... Let's uh, mosey on out of here. already in 001. I know what's in that room, and I'm not going in that room. Oh, there's even more herbs. Okay, that's cool. Uh, and then I think that's just the guardhouse first floor. Yeah, I think this is just the exit. Yeah, that's the exit. It's it's slowly coming back to me. Uh, again, we have more green herbs, so that's good. Hint, hint. <laughs> Definitely not a boss battle. Um, okay, let's... I did not expect that. Don't like that at all. At least it didn't affect my health. What's in this room? Ah, giant spiders! Shoot a fucking acid round at it. To let it know who it's fucking with. Whoop! Oh no, there's multiple of them! Why? Uh, let's go in here real quick, and I know I can't use them alone. You know what I mean, game. Uh, one was already too. Oh yeah, absolutely. One was, one was already too many. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, you bitch. Oh, I'm in caution now. That's not good. And now I'm fine. Okay. Uh, my nose. Of course, I'm doing all of this while the spider is. Dude, what? That spider just kind of stun locked me. I have to go back to the beginning. Do it again. Good luck indeed. Hope I don't get destroyed by a spider again. Um. Okay. I'm gonna take care of these Zambos. They've just had too much to drink. You know when you and your buddies have had too much to drink and you just kind of shamble around a room? Oh! Ho oh, ho! One shot. That was dope. Can we do a two for two? Can we do two for two? Get your ass over here, boy. Relatable. <laughs> Make sure next time that happens, you just kind of moan. A little further, buddy. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm not going there. <laughs> He's been aggroed. He just needs to... There we go. Now he's good. Alright. Uh, desk is locked. I will use lockpick. And then we'll obviously go in here, unclog the drain, just for the sake of my sanity. Um, oop. I th so I think in the original version of the game, th I think there's a key in here? But obviously, there is no key. There is nothing in there. It's just, uh, it, it's just bathtub with gross water in it. I think the good news is that we saved ammo. <laughs> we conserved ammo because, uh, yeah, we did. We saved like three rounds because that one guy was just a one-hit kill, so that was good. Um, that, um... Okay. Um... This is not a visual novel of the hentai persuasion. You can't just choke me with your tentacle. Oh, and I'm poisoned! No! Oh, that's gonna be real bad. That is gonna be real bad. I kinda lucked out. He's still moving. Oh, fuck. Um, hold on. First of all, give me that. Uh, mm, give me that. And then... Oh, I didn't get the... I didn't get the, the shotgun ammo! Run, 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 run! Run! 
All right, come get it. Fuck him up. <laughs> All right. I'm poisoned, though, so I need to... Oh, no, it was a mommy. <laughs> no, it was a mommy. I guess I can just, like, step on him. Hold on. I need to look at the book. Uh, will you take the red book? Yes, and I know there's a key in this. Um... Uh, all the pages are blank. What's it for? Oh, you gotta be kidding. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I know what it's for. I know what it's for. Um... I think that one. I think, you fuck. I think that one spider is still alive. But, <laughs> perfect emotes, Cena. Perfect emotes. Um. I knew that was gonna happen too. All right. So for starters, um, is there any serum in here or any like? And I'm already in caution, because I let the spider get way too close to me. Actually, no, I think he spit goop at me, and the goop is what made me sick. I actually don't even know where the... Uh... Oh, those are blue herbs. Those are blue herbs. I will take that. And then I will use that. And now I'm just in caution. Uh, but here's the thing. I have an F8 spray, so I will use this. Uh, whoops. Ran right past it. I have to go back and get the shotgun shells from the... I thought I... I thought I grabbed it. I just unlocked it. That's what I did. And they're both gone. There we go. Kuai, yes. I will take the shells. And then... Fine. There we go. Let's try this again. <laughs> um, he's like, I don't expect it. It's a hole in the floor. Actually, I say tentacle. It's a vine. I know what it is. Does that affect my health at all? It really doesn't. That's good. Um, down here again. This is the... Oh, yeah, this is where those herbs are. I've got... I'll grab an herb. Take that herb. We know 002 is locked. It's locked on the other side with a keypad. I know that much. I think... I think that big door leads to... It's locked. Plate says 003. Um, what does this one say? Uh, I mean, I'll take the key. Sure. Run away, run away, run away! Go, 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 go! Leg it! <laughs> I don't want to have to be shooting bees. This one. Which one is this for? 002. Okay. That's the one right over here. Yeah. You have used the key. 
Uh, this key is useless now. Discard it? Of course I will. I like that this game does that. You don't really see that in any game. You just kind of have those quest items just sit there. All right, where y'all at? Oh, hmm. Okay. Plant 42. All right. How much reading are we doing here? Oh, quite a bit. Okay. Four days have passed since the accident, and the plant at point 42 is growing amazingly fast. It has been affected by... I think that's the wrong use of affected, but... It has been affected by the T-Virus differently than other plants have been, and shows unique shape in addition to its size. Looking at the way it behaves, it is now difficult to determine what kind of plant it was originally. There are two ways in which Plant 42 gathers nutrition. The first one is through its root that reaches into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and broke the water tank in the basement. Now the basement is filled with water. Uh, it is easily manageable. Uh, easily Im imaginable. I, my brain just melted at that word. Uh, it is easily imaginable that some chemical elements were blended in the water, and that and promotes the incredibly fast growth of Plant 42. Another part of Plant 42 from the basement grows through the duct and hangs down like so many bulbs from the ceiling of the first floor. Uh, many vines come out of those bulbs, and they are the second resource for its nutrition. Uh, once sensing movement, Plant 42 shoots its vines around uh, the prey and holds it. Then it starts sucking up blood, using the suckers located at the back of its vine. Uh, it also has some intelligence. It blocks the door by twining? That's a word I've never seen. Uh, by twining its vines around... It, especially when it captures prey or is sleeping. Several staff members have already fallen victim to this. Just normal plant things. Uh, okay, what's in this one? Desk is locked. No, I'll use that lock. What do we got? Ah, yes. I will take the ammo. I see notes there, and I'm like, oh, I know there's a map. This would be happy. Um, okay, normal. There we go. Okay. And I was right. So that little section. My mouse show up, it doesn't. Wait. Ah, it does show up. Ah. So this section here is where Plant 42 is residing. I'm absolutely not going to fight this thing. Because fighting this thing is horrifying. But there's the horrifying part of the basement. Which is to say, chart. Before we do that, let's go in here and likely get killed by a zombie. Um... Oh, there's two of them! It's so nice of them to let me just slowly walk out the door. Okay. There we go. Now we're ready. <laughs> just... <laughs> I'm sorry. How are you still alive? No. Fucking... God damn it. Hold on. <laughs> That dude took, like, three shotgun shells to the back and was still alive. That is nothing short of amazing. Okay. Um, okay. It's for 003. Okay. like to point out that my drink is red. A nice red drink for Halloween spooky street. Better. 
that's where the, that's where that is. I'm actually going to put some stuff away. I'll probably put the grenade launcher away. I might use the key real quick, and I know where the dormitory is. Um, just use that key real quick. Okay. Um, uh, you have used dormitory key. Um, key is useless now. It's hard, yes. how it's just like, oh, what's this right here? Um, oh, and I can grab it and replace the book. There's one. There's one wide book. The V-Jolt Report. As I stated in the last report, there are some common features found uh, in the cells of the plant affected by the Tyrant virus. We also have found, uh, we also have found another interesting fact through some experiments. We found an element that destroys these plant cells rapidly in UMB number 16, one of the series of UMB chemicals that we used for that experiment. We named this UMB number 16 as V-Jolt. In our calculation, it will take less than five seconds to destroy plant 42 if we put the V-Jolt directly on the root. Uh, you need to mix some of the UMB chemi uh, series chemicals in a specific order to create V-Jolt but the UMB series chemicals may generate a poisonous gas which is harmful to the human body. Extreme caution should be taken when handling these chemicals. Uh, the following are types of UMB series chemicals and their brief characteristics. Uh, so there's red, green, white, blue, purple, yellow, cool. Um, V-Jolt, brown, okay. But yeah, so I'm... You pick up a bunch of those chemicals, and then I'm pretty sure you just, like, mix it in this... Anyways. Uh, I wonder where the mixing book is. How about use it? Yeah, so that's... That's how I'm gonna go about doing this. Oh. Map, when I look at this... Yeah, no, we're not going in there. We're not going in there at all. Locks, we use the lock pick, of course I will. Oh, an ink ribbon, oh boy. But so, yeah, I'm gonna go about uh, mixing those chemicals, because that's a better way to fight Plant 42, in my opinion. Hey, we got some flame rounds. The grenade launcher. Hell yeah, I'm taking them. Um, is there anything else in here? Nothing. A wash stand. That I've never heard a sink referred to as a wash stand. is that I don't think I have enough um, ammunition to deal with plant 42. So 
I'm gonna mix the chemicals. But before we do that, I'm gonna stop at the save room real quick. What's an odd word? Oh, wash stand, I think you're saying, yeah. Okay, so here's how I'm gonna do this. Um, do this in two steps. I don't think I'll need the flame rounds when I go into the basement. Plus, I think I have plenty of ammo, um... Oh. Yeah, I think I've got plenty of ammo. Plus, I'm gonna have to carry a bunch of fucking chemicals, so... Okay, so we go over here. I think it's just gonna grab me no matter what, yeah. I mean, there's the statue at the beginning of the place, but... Whatever. It doesn't really do any... It doesn't do any damage, it's just an inconvenience. Um... I like how the one... There's, like, the one dormitory that has all of the, uh, or that has the access to the basement. It's like, you would think the access to the basement would be like, here's a door to a staircase. The very oddly designed guest house. Guest house. There's a ladder. Will you descend it? Of course I will. There's gonna be a zombie or two. Oh, no, there is not. Okay, cool. I thought there was like at least one. Hop across that. One. All right, let's grab this guy. Oh, no, I'm not supposed to do this before I even fuck it up. funny at a distance it looks like it says zombie which was probably intentional oh there we go Cause 
I think Connie is having a Halloween party today. I wonder what Dandrew is up to. Dandrew is watching horror movies with Tori, I believe. It's just you and me, Cena. Unless Hunter pops in. Um, okay, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> um, trying to remember where the. Ugh, well, it's a ranged mode, so it'll be different. Because this part, this part is pretty tense. Um, I'm trying to just remember. Uh, I hate this part. If I remember correctly. No, it's locked. There's no keyhole. Fuck. No. It's locked. The door says control room. No. No. Oh, no. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. Oh, oh no. This is terrible. This is terrible. Yeah, I sure did die. <laughs> I just love watching that. I could skip it, but I love watching it. Resident Evil. I love me some old FMV goodness. I'm surprised FMV video games, or FMV adventure games, namely, haven't made a big comeback, given how technology has, you know, advanced. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> given how technology has advanced, then how video games are a more legit medium now. It's like, man, how do we not have, uh... How do we not have more FMV games going on? The biggest one we had was Ripper, which starred Christopher Walken, John Reese davies David Patrick Kelly, Jimmy Walker, Karen Allen, Paul Giamatti. It's like, man, I would love to play... Actually, wait, I think... We did have, um, shoot, what's it called? Um, Bandersnatch, the, what's that show called? Dark Mirror. We had that, which is probably the closest we've gotten to, like, big name star power FMV adventure game, but... I'd like to see that. I'd like to see a revival. And I've actually heard some people who aren't, like, big gamers, but people who grew up with FMV adventure games going like, man, how come we don't have that? And it's so true. It's like, dude, how do we not have... big, cool adventure games? I, for one, would like to play them. Granted, there's still there's still some being made, but they're not they don't make as big of a splash as they used to. And I think it is partially just the world we live in now, but with uh, with games, but man, it'd be so cool. I'd like to see more like you know, I can be in the So this game came out in 96, I believe? This is Actually, well, it's Director's Cut. It may be... It's Director's Cut and DualShock. Uh, I forget when the DualShock controller came out, so maybe this is like 97, 98, something like that? Um, but I think the original Resident Evil was 96. I probably have my years all wrong, but... Thank <laughs> you. 
I was gonna, like, check on my phone, but I'm also like, I mean, I'm running a stream, and that would just be kind of weird to have me on my phone. Even though... <laughs> All the thrilling box-pushing action. You know what? I am gonna check. I am gonna check, because now the question is killing me. Uh, quite literally. Um, as my phone has just blown up. Um, if I can spell. Um, okay, yeah, so Resident Evil is 96. And director's cut is... Okay, this isn't... Ninety-seven. Okay, so direct... So they're a year apart. Okay. I figure while I have my phone out, I can just push notifications away. Anyways, um, Sweet Home, yes, Sweet Home is considered the the godfather of the survival horror genre. I've played it before on an emulator. Uh, it's quite a game, I'll say that much. Um, it's you can play as different characters. It's also a horror movie. Uh, and I've seen the movie. The movie's all right. Um, I'd say it's worth a watch, but uh, the game is... I mean, the game's all right. It's not for me, but I mean, I get why people would like it. Um... Let's see if I can do this part. No, I didn't mean to go out the door. I saw a control panel next to the door and thought it was something. Ow! Spill drink. That was an ambitious sip. So there's plant 42 right there. Figure out where... This will probably... I bet you will be here, like, for a few tries of this, but I, I know this is, like... Oh! Oh, they just showed up! Locked. Mama got me. Man, I used to know how to do this. I sure did die. Um, I had a period in like... Okay, now I'm gonna skip it, but... Man, I had a period in like junior high where I knew this game like the back of my hand. And it's been that long since I've played it. So there's some things that I remember, and there's also some things that... Yo, I don't know, man. Hold on. 
Excuse me a moment. By excuse me a moment, I mean... Ignore me while I do something. While I look this up real quick. Um... This is one where it's like, I, dude, I just want to do this. <laughs> um, at least you get the nice, peaceful music here. Um, Okay, so apparently I was supposed to get a control room key at some point. Oh, man. But this is arranged mode. So I don't know where that's going to be. This could be really bad. This could be really bad. Okay. I saw where it is, but, uh, yeah, this could be not good for me. Um, and of course we get, oh, no, I didn't get attacked by the tentacle. Okay. like a clock dial. Nine, five, eight. Some kind of code. Oh, I bet you... Uh, <laughs> nine, five, eight. I bet you... I wonder where that goes. <laughs> You're supposed to run into Wesker at some point, but I don't know why it's not showing up. There's probably some condition I have to meet, but that I didn't meet beforehand. But, um, uh, there's a panel with number keys. Will you push the keys? Of course I will. You fool. Take the empty bottle. That actually would come in handy. Yes, I will take that bottle. Oh. I'll take this one. This is where you're supposed to mix. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. We're supposed to mix the chemicals. There's a lot of empty bottles. This message says, something is written on the wall. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 3 plus 4 is 7. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 7 is 13. 13 plus 3 is 6. All oh, that... That doesn't sound good. There's a UMB number two. Ooh. Oh, I get what they're driving at. Okay. Um, no, not yet. Okay, so what did they say? So they said... One plus two is three. Okay. Uh, wow. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to, whoops, open up notepad and write this note down. <laughs> um, okay. So it's one plus two is three. Three plus four is seven. Two plus four is six. Six plus seven is 13. 13 plus 3 is 16. Okay. So. Cool. Now let's go back to my files. Botany book, VJolt report. Go back to the end here. Okay, so. Uh, it'd be funny if they snuck a math error into it and the player doesn't notice he's mixing the wrong thing. <laughs> oh man, that would be awful. But that would, but at the same time, that's something that I would love if a game did. But I'm sure there's plenty of, you know. Okay. Um, so they said one plus two. I don't know what the fuck two is. Or sorry, I don't know what the fuck one is. I'm like looking at this. I don't know what one is. Um, I don't know what one is referring to. But then it was three plus four. It's gonna be like red and green. And then, which is white. And then we do two and green, which is six. Part of me kind of just wants to grab my grenade launcher and the flame rounds and just go in guns blazing and just Go for it. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Fuck it. I'm not doing math. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go grab some ammo, and I'm going to grab maybe one more herb. Yeah. I will take the stickiest of the icky, and then we will make our way back whoop, to the save room. And we're going to grab some flame rounds. We're going to get attacked by the vine. Oh, we didn't get attacked by the vine. Oh. <laughs> Go. We're gonna put the empty bottle in here. Fucking need it. Give me them flame rounds. Uh, also, we're gonna have to load up my handgun real quick. Okay. to not get attacked by the vine. I found the sweet spot. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm also gonna give me that big ass shoddy. Um, 
I said shoddy. It's a grenade launcher. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just stupid. <laughs> um, let me go in here. Curious if we'll be able to do this. Oh. Fucking easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh. Splat. You saved me. Yeah. That was close. Thanks, Barry. Don't mention it. What a monster. I can't believe. What the hell is this place anyway? <laughs> okay. I'm going to stay in the soldiers' area and take a look around. Though I'm sure there are still things in that other mansion as well. Anyway, let's start searching separately. Okay. Okay. I'm going to stay in the soldiers' area and take a look around. Though I'm sure there are still things in that other mansion as well. Anyway, let's start searching separately. Okay. Oh, you would have had something more to say. Will you take the control room key? You bet your ass I will. Cool. Alright, well. Bye, Barry. I love you. So that was the correct solution. The correct solution was to just blow it to kingdom come. And it was really easy to do that. Um, yeah, I'm fine. All right, let's go to the basement now. Closed notepad. <laughs> All right, uh, because we're not making V Jolt, which is funny because when I first played this game, I actually made the V Jolt. And I look at it now, I'm like, dude, I don't have time for this. Like, <laughs> this time I have a control room key, so I won't get myrtleized.
All right. Let's do it to it. Surprised she, she could open the door in this much water. I would think that it would be unopenable. Unopenable? You wouldn't be able to open it. Oh no. It's locked. There's no key. What? Oh, I meant this one. You have used the control room. It's useless now. You bet your ass I'll discard it. There's a lever. Will you move it? Sure. There we go. Yay! Cool. Ah, uh, that's special. Whoop. There we go. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, there's a button. Will you push it? Uh, there was a sound from the room next door. Ooh, we got some ammo. They're all wet and useless. Except for this ammo... Biatch! Hell yeah. There is one more magazine. Don't tell me it's wet and useless. There we go. I will take that ammo. Hell yeah. Alright. Anything else in here? I'm sure it's all wet and useless. Oh, wait. Oh, I will take the shotgun rounds. Hell yeah. There's even more! Ooh, making out like a bandit. There's there's a sparkly. There's, there's a sparkly. What is it? And there's a key. A mansion key. Ooh! Make sure I'm not missing anything. Went useless. That was my nickname in high school. No! <laughs> okay. Let's see if there's anything I can grab in here. I think it's all wet and useless, but. get Mansion Part 2, which is awful, because then we have to deal with hunters, and hunters are the worst. Except for the hunter that joined the stream. Let's just look in just in case. Oh. This is where it is. I thought we missed this scene. We didn't. Wesker! Oh, he killed Big Spider. Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. Where on earth have you been? You disappeared from the hall all of a sudden. I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. Perhaps you guys have met them? It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. Is that right? Anyway, it's good to see you're safe. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. 
Yes, you're right. <laughs> now, there are a lot of rooms in that mansion that we can't get into because they're locked up. I have been looking around for clues. Okay, I'll go to the other house and see if I can find any clues. Will you do that? I'm counting on you. Anyways. The voice acting is top notch, of course. Oh, see, I don't even need to worry about the vine, though. Good. Well, first of all, let's see. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to put something in the hmm. box. You know what? I might put the mansion key in here. Maybe? Hold on a second. Uh. Mansion. Um. Oh, yeah. Well, there's that one area that's protected by a code. Which is um, this whole section here. That's protected by a code. Well, I don't know about this spot here, but the rest of it is protected with a code. And then I believe this takes the key. This might take the key as well. Maybe I just haven't been in that room for a while. Maybe I'll keep the key on me. Maybe I'll put one of the herbs away. Downside is that I could get severely bug-fucked by the hunters that are about to show up. Um, let's just put that there. Oh, wait, because I have to pull out ink Ink ribbon. Save. We don't have to do this shit all over again. I think I took care of the bad boys. Outside. So we should... It should be easy going. I reckon. Or hope. There's also herbs out here too. Herbs of plenty. I'm I don't think there's like I don't think there are any in the mansion. I think I took all of them. Step on snack. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Well, let's see if there are any any bad boys here. Any Cerberus. Oh, there are some. Uh, 
I have like eight rounds left. What? Okay. There's even more green herbs out there. Dang. Okay. <laughs> Shouldn't be any here. No, there aren't any. But I will equip this because I know what's about to come. There we go. I don't like that. They've used the mansion key. Ha uh ha, -huh, we can go in here. Ooh. There's a switch, will you push it? Sure. Ah, it's a light switch. Oh. Oh, uh, you can't kill- Oh, it's cold python ammo, too. Oh, it's so good! What's in here? Um... Think, oh, it's a disc. And there's goodies in here, and I can't take them. Um... Okay. Okay, so it's the next door over. Okay. Because then I'm just going to swap out the... Oh, fuck me, there's two of them. Hold on. Game, hold on. Equip that, but then also use that. <laughs> oh. That's the problem with the hunters, too, is when you get two of them in a room, they will just, like, go around you and then just kind of, like, stun lock you, which is super annoying and not fair at all. Um, good luck, indeed. Same thing we did last time. Uh, There's two of those bastards. I don't think there's really a strategic way that I can go about taking them out. This is Brad. I know you can't answer me. But somehow, give me a sign. This is Jill. Brad? <gasps> it's broken. If there's a way that I can rig doors and 
pictures and closets and such in my in my place to uh, have weird puzzles that you have to. Whoop! Come on! Come on! There we go. Rig things to open on solving weird puzzles. Wonder if I'd have to hire someone. Why, yes, I would like to. <laughs> I would like there to be uh, several amulets. <laughs> Welcome, Hunter. That was not fair. That was not fair at all. This is, it's now becoming the unfair kills part of the game. Evil. Hunter, your name is going to be mentioned a lot now because there's an enemy type that we're going to face called the Hunter. So, um, when I say Hunters suck, don't, don't worry, I'm not referring to you. I'm referring to the weird frog zombie dudes. So, Hunter, you missed us uh, killing a plant with a grenade launcher. Or rather, a giant plant with a grenade launcher. I'm not gonna answer Brad. We know it's broken. We all know the radio's broken. Brad, you left me here to die, you sack of crap. This is Brad. I know you can't answer me. What's uh, if you said that, I think of KMFDM sucks. Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's a positive. This is Jill. Brad? <gasps> it's broken. Man, I got so lucky, though, like last time, except for me getting completely destroyed by a couple of hundred. Those guys just stunlocked me. Oh, stomach illness. Ugh. That sucks. Did you have to go on the uh, the brat diet? Which is, it's what, like, bananas, bananas, rice, applesauce, toast. I think that's what it is. When you have a uh, stomach illness, it's like, that's all you can, it's like the easiest foods for your stomach. I only used two more bullets than last time, so that's not bad. Okay. For a second I thought it said danger. I was like, wait, what? You ate a man? What? And there's a hunter.
I hate this part of the game. I hate this part of the game. Mike, welcome to stream. Yeah. He done killed me. Yeah, Hunter, I don't think Maraca joins my streams, really. Yeah, she did join for the, uh... For the Vertigo stream. Mike, how are you doing? How are you doing on this eve? This is Brad. I know you can't answer me. Oh, recovering from VR nausea. Oh, I know how that goes. This is Jill. Brad? <gasps> It's, it's why I don't play a lot of VR games, is just because I end up getting the VR nausea, like, all the time. And I've heard it's like I have to check my, um, my refresh rate and all that stuff. Um, like, s games like Super Hot and Mist VR and uh, Beat Saber, stuff like that, where I'm, like, kind of stationary for the most part. I'm typically, I'm pretty good with that. But, um, there's one game that I really want to play and I, I just have the demo and I can't get through the demo because I get VR sickness so easily. hospital <laughs> yeah um yeah r.i.p um matthew perry who i found out just passed away like right before a stream yeah matthew perry uh, drowned supposedly and yeah, I mean, I'm not the biggest Friends fan, but yeah, wow, that one's just shocking, really. Oh fuck, what have I done? No, run, run, run! <laughs> just, just, just go! <laughs> okay. And I have more ammo. I didn't want to get destroyed by the dogs. Here comes Hunter. There we go. He did. Okay. Uh, I'm going to unlock this room and turn the light switch on, but I'm not going to get any... Because I can't get anything from it, but... Uh, still annoyed the PSVR 2 doesn't have a browser or anything that you can pin to your vision while in-game. I'd be watching so many streams... 
go. I will push it. Oop, there we go. Oh, the first PSVR had that, but the second one doesn't. That's interesting. Why would you do that? Why would you design... Why would this... I hate when updates of things, or the next version of things, removes features that were really cool about the first thing. Like, so when I stream, I use the Roland VT4 just as my vocal processor. The VT3 had this really cool scatter effect, and they removed that in the VT4, which upsets me greatly, which is why I had to specifically get the Roland E4, right? The E4? Yeah, the E4, which has the scatter effect on it, and then it's got, you know, a lot of the same stuff that this has on it. It doesn't have the balance slider, so I'll have to see how that works out when I do finally use it, but my plan is I'm going to use this when I work on new music. But I can't work on new music because I've been focusing on my live show in November, so I've just been rehearsing constantly um, to varying effects. Um, okay, here we go. Here comes this part. I wonder if I can bottleneck them, maybe. This is the worst. Oh, is, is your country going into daylight savings? I don't know when we do. Do we go into daylight savings now? I don't know. Daylight savings is bullshit either way. Resident Evil. You guys, I hate this so much, and I can't think of an easy way to go about this. You know, I have a grenade launcher. Maybe I should use the grenade launcher. Go through all of this. Thank you all for bearing with me as I try not to scream. President Steve Ill. <laughs> you know, back in the day, when I would read Game Pro, Game Pro would have like a little section in it called uh, Lame Pro, and it was just a parody thing. And they had, uh, it was like when Code Veronica was coming out, and they had uh, President Evil Code Monica, which was like, of course, that was the topic at the time. Um, I will not say where I'm at. I'm in an undisclosed location. Oh fuck, on the nose, right? <laughs> yeah, H.R. Giger's museum would be really cool. It's also the- there's also the, uh, there's a bar in Switzerland that has a bunch of H.R. Giger, like, furniture and stuff. That would be really cool to go to. This is Jill. Brad? Yeah, probably the same. That's the thing is, different countries go into daylight savings at different times, as I've, as I've found out in international travels. I'll have to double check, and people can correct me while we're on stream as to when the U.S. engages in daylight savings, but, uh... I think it's in different spots. Uh, 
Um, for New York and Arkansas, it's uh, November 5th this year, and I assume it's probably... Yeah, I mean, yeah, it would be the same for all of the U.S. So if it's November 5th, yeah, then I got some time before I get screwed over by time changing. When it's like, suddenly, I'm waking up at noon. Why am I waking up at noon? Because because of World War I. Which is the reason for fucking daylight savings. Is that the, the Germans were like, how can we save lamp oil? I know, let's fucking push time out. I hate them for it. Fucking Kaiser Wilhelm thinking he's so cool. Oh, you get one hour more this time? Oh, okay. read an article about city skylines two teeth oh yeah oh my god yeah the fact that they like modeled every single person like modeling the teeth in like high poly that's it's so unnecessary dude just use sprites or something man uh, i hope we can abolish daylight saving soon uh it doesn't contribute anything more uh anything anymore and is bad for a lot of people's inner clock exactly exactly it's stupid no one likes it i don't know why we still do it I think that's like the one bipartisan issue that like both the left and the right can agree upon is that daylight savings is bullshit. Why can't Congress do something and make it a thing? We're abolishing it. Fuck you. <laughs> can lower the teeth rate by not building an education system. There you go. Uh, characters feature a lot of details that, while seemingly unnecessary now, will become relevant in the future of the project. Uh, can't wait to hire a rampant teeth knocker outer in my city after paying for that DLC. City Skylines is now going to have a Sims mode. There we go. Or Sim Town. Which was my thought. SimTown was, like, the one game that, like, every school computer lab had. And... <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Hold on. First of all, that. Oh, she actually loaded it. There we go. Probably an- oh, I'm fine. Okay, cool. It's gonna have a new natural disaster. A tornado that explicitly pulls out people's teeth. No other damage. <laughs> I love tooth Fairy Typhoon. There you go. <laughs> it's what we all wanted. It's what we all wanted in City Skylines 1, but we just couldn't get it. The modding community couldn't do it. Okay, so we're gonna fucking... Actually, wait. I'll keep the shotgun out. And then we'll wait and see as... Hopefully this works. Hopefully this works. I will cry if it doesn't. I will cry live on stream if it doesn't. Oh, oh he just lunged for me. Mm, let's give it a try. Or not. Fuck me for trying. This is like the most I've ever cursed in an entire stream. <laughs> oh man, you guys, I don't. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> that, I agree, Mike. I agree. I was like, here's my game plan. I'm gonna fucking do it. It's gonna work. 
No, it's not going to work. Okay. I'm going to try this one last time. And if it doesn't work, then I'm going to stop playing this game. And we are going to watch the uncut intro of this game that is in color and has all the gore that's super wonderful. Um, and then we'll close stream. And then I'm going to drink heavily. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I mean, I've almost hit two hours on stream, so I'm getting close to my stop time. Well, not like I have a an official stop time, you know, but like I usually stream about two hours. We can always just chat too. We can always just stay in here and chat and have a good time. This is Jill, Brad. Oh, it's broken. Oh, it's broken. My brain. It's broken. Okay. Elevator coming at you like Cleopatra. stuck. There he comes. Damn. I don't want, I'm just checking the pistol ammo. See. Checking that handgun ammo, seeing what's up. Seeing how much they're eating. Has stream elements been high on this goblin pack yet? It's telling you about commands, which is good, but is it high on this goblin pack? It better be. Can I, I'm gonna just do that. <laughs> I'm gonna just skip it. He has good. I started counting. Use the mansion key. There's a switch. Will you push it? Oh, yeah. Uh, I've been religiously listening to Nico's album, Drama of Exile. What piece... Uh, what music piece of hers was it you mentioned before that you liked? Well, I mean, I don't really listen to her stuff, but the f I think it was like the first album of hers uh, is like the only one I've really listened to. Okay, so we're going to fucking grenade launcher this shit. I got flame rounds. I will burn those motherfuckers alive. Alright, let's fucking do this. Sack shit. Oh. 
There you go. Fuck them up. That's what I'm talking about. All right. I only have one round left, though, so I'm going to cry when I go upstairs and there's like three of them. Uh, God damn it. When I press the middle button on my controller, it, uh... I put some bullets in the back room. Uh, use them in case of trouble, Barry. Thank you, Barry. I'm using a NVIDIA Shield controller, and I was pressing the start button to try and get out of, uh... Get out of the menu? Oh, look at him. He put acid rounds in here. He put... Man, he put a lot of shit. He put some first aid in here. He put some shotgun shells. Barry's being a bro. Um, grab these. I will take the shells. Um, and then I'll just put these in the thing. And then we will absolutely save here. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, could be Velvet Underground or Chelsea. It, it's nothing to do with Velvet Underground. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do first is grab that Colt Python ammo. Um... Put the light on. Put the light on. Uh, no, no. But grab this. I'll take the magnum rounds. Oh, it was an it was a disc. That's what it was. A disc will probably be relevant. But I will put away the rounds. We're going to do a couple back and forths here. Just be glad I'm not playing as Chris and have less inventory space. Because then there'd be so many back and forths. I'll grab the disc and I'll put the disc in the thing and then and then I do need to fight the yawn again. Oh, I have to turn the switch on. Why won't it just keep the switch on? Alright, there we go. There we go. Grab the MO disc. Which I don't think we'll need until later. Like, much later. But... Mo disc, mo problems. <laughs> exactly, Mike. Okay. Then we can proceed after this. Yeah, put the disc in the chest. And... Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, I gotta grab ink rhythms, too.
Uh, you can save your... Of course you can. Of course I will use the ink ribbon. I would have gone. You play this game too much, I imagine approaching doors hits different. Yeah, right? There's going to be at least probably two hunters upstairs. I feel like there's going to be two. Approaching doors and approaching stairs hits different. Mm hmm. There he is. Lucky me. There's no way there's not a second one. Yep, there he is. <laughs> like, I want to kill him, but... But that dude will just decap me, decapitate me, like, immediately. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, danger is right. Caution is right. There we go. <laughs> Woo! Decaffeinated, yeah. Um, if it was pers first person, it would be it would be such a jump scare. Yeah. If it was first person, it would be horrifying. I was, I was like expecting one to be down here too. I think the second battle with the yawn is in there. Or no, it's it's not in there. It's in the, the room next to it. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. Hear me out. I'm going to grab the grenade launcher, right? The yawn. Yeah, the yawn. That's his name. Realizing I know so little about the first game. Yeah. And I know so much. As I said earlier, I had a period in junior high when I was, like, obsessed with this game. And I knew it like the back of my hand. The Yawn is a giant snake. Ah, there he is. There's Stream Orb. Alright, we're gonna grab the bazooka, and we're gonna grab those acid rounds. Right, I have the F8 spray, too. I mean, fuck it, I'll just grab that. I don't have to go outside. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, you know what I'll do, actually? Oh, nah. Okay, and then I'm gonna save again. Well, no, I'm not gonna save again. Also because I don't have ink ribbons, but... Alright, so fuck up a giant snake. And then we'll get to hear, then we'll get to hear the infamous mansion song, or the mansion basement song that everyone loves, that's like trumpet farting. And I'll get into my theory about why that song sounds the way it sounds. Well, here's the thing. There was just two hunters in separate locations that we had to go through. And I was able to just take out the one from just aiming up. So, I don't, I don't think it'll be too horrible, you know? Uh, didn't the director have an explanation for the basement? No. So, there's no formal explanation for why the basement song sounds the way it does. Um... I, there's one theory I've heard 
that is the that makes the most sense to me and that theory is that they accidentally set the wrong midi instrument uh because there's someone who made a video and i mean i can get into this after stream too um or after i'm done playing the game but there's someone who posted a video where they took the midi from the mansion basement and put like i think they put a choir over it and it sounds spooky as hell and to me it's like there's no way that someone would have intentionally made trumpet farts the basement song you know i feel like there had to be some kind of accident like that but um yeah that's my thought those are my two cents Here we go. Who's ready for the giant snake? All right, first of all, I'm going to equip that. Listening to Wagner while watching your stream. How does Wagner affect the atmosphere of this game? That's what I want to know. Okay, this is where he should show up. What opens in the middle of the fireplace? Okay. Is this... Did I have to look at the piano? There he is! He's back for more! Oh! Excuse me, Mr. Probably use, yep. There we go. Got him. It doesn't really go with Ari, but I know someday you'll be like, <laughs> absolutely not. Okay. There we go. We killed him. Yay. It's too dark to see any. Oh! Jill, have you found anything interesting? <laughs> As there's a decaying snake yes, corpse. Yes, but I can't see very well. How about going down to check by yourself? I have a rope here. Oh, do you? Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. Wait. Hey, what's going on? Now I've done it. Sorry, Jill. Wait, I'll go and get another rope. Barry? 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 There's a switch below. Will you push it? Such a weird place to just have a random grave and opening. Like, why? There he is. Hey! Are you there, Jill? Grab the rope! I'm sorry, Jill. I didn't know that was going to happen. I'm sorry. I was really careless. Are you okay, Barry? Maybe you're getting tired. No, I'm all right. Don't worry. Jill, I found something. You can't hold any more item. Okay. <laughs> Pass number 80830. Okay. Cool. 
Thank you. I'll take this then. Like, I know how infamously bad the voice acting is. I've known that for years, but... Man, it just hits so good every time. Uh, there's a rope. Will you descend it? Of course I will. Actually, mm, I probably shouldn't. Here's what I'll do. And hear me out. I'm going to put the grenade launcher away, and then I will maybe grab an herb, but I'll definitely save. Man, I want to, like, I kind of want to take the Colt Python with me, but, like, I would only leave, like, one open space. Colt Python is awesome. Running low on... Yeah. I'm running low on shotgun ammo, too. Oh, I said I was going to Let's go grab an herb, just so that I have it. And the only, and I, closest one I'm aware of is out here in the outside. Okay, back to the mansion we go. We're just going to climb down that rope, and we're going to go into the basement and hear some trumpet farts.
most certainly will descend. Go down here. There's a ladder. Will you descend? I will keep on descending. Oh, here it is. Oh, no. I hear a hunter. Oh. Oh, fuck. There's two of them. Oh, there's three of them! So I'm done. <laughs> I'm giving up. There's That's three hunters too many. So here's what I'm going to do. I will still give us some fun, though. We will still have some fun. I'm going to prepare us some RE fun. Okay. Um, ooh, okay. Um... Oh my god, there's someone who, there's someone who did a mansion basement cover and he's a trombone player. I'm we're upload I'm I'm we're doing that one. We're we're gonna have some fun with just some YouTube videos right now. That's what we're gonna do. Okay? We're gonna have some fun that way. Um RE fun, yeah. Very understandable. Thank you, Cena. Okay, um, Come on now. Uh, whoops. Can I resize this song, bitch? Are you going to allow me to do that? No. OBS is being a little bitch. Um, primary monitor? Yeah. I mean, that'll do for now. I'll full screen this. So this is the uncut intro. So director's cut was supposed to come with this intro, but someone kind of dropped the ball. This ended up going on the PC port, which is called the uncut version. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone the situated in Northwest cut. Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! Apparently. It was Bravo team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. Hey! Come here! Was that Duke Nukem? <laughs> Albert Newcomb, Duke Wesker. <laughs> Max 
Ghost's headroom. Oh, yeah. Quality schlock, exactly. It really is. I no, love it. Don't go. Kill, run for that house. Hopefully, it has the full intro, too. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Chris Redfield. Jill Valentine. Chambers, Albert Wesker, Resident Evil. And there you go. That's the uncut intro. So they did find the actors because the actor, the 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 actors for the FMV sequence are just credited by their first name, and so they people at fans have managed to track down all of those actors. And so those three of those actors, uh, Chris, the guy who played Chris, uh, Barry and Wesker were all interviewed. Uh, so you can see that interview up on YouTube and it's like a full hour long or so. And it's really cool just hearing behind the scenes stories and, just kind of how they were discovered and all of that. It's, it's really fun. Um, uh, that Albert guy is so cool. I sure hope he doesn't want to achieve complete global saturation. Mike, I have some bad news for you. <laughs> okay, and then this one I saw, and it's like, dude, how can I not play this? So, is someone doing a cover of The Mansion Basement? Yeah, exactly. I was going to say that scene, a perfect moment for stream elements to say that. <laughs> okay, I'll stop it there. We, we get the point. So here's the re the, here's the fix slash rehash that uh, someone did where they switched it out from, I think, to choir. Okay, so it's going to go. Here's the original. Here's the Yeah. 
Yeah, right. This. Yeah, it, it makes a lot more sense. Yeah. It's still an abomination, but it sounds better. I'll just kind of let that run. But, um, so that's the end of Spooktober. 